What's going on guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite city of tweaks with this recent jailbreak. Alright guys, so to start out we have Lock Glyph, which is this little fingerprint animation. Whenever you put your finger on the home screen just like that, you can change what color those lines are, beginning and ending, and if you have it enabled there will also be a sound that plays after you unlock your phone. Now you might have noticed that it took a while for the fingerprint scanner to read and then hop into the home screen and that's because it wanted to complete its animations. So if you want to make it faster, you can use faster animations and you can also choose to unlock immediately. So right when it reads your fingerprint, it will just unlock and it'll forget about the animations. Even though we have it locked, as you can still see, it has that animation of the bars filling up so it is still a really nice little thing to have and if you want it to be fast you can make it fast all right the next tweak is called alkaline now if you look up at my battery bar you'll see that it's just a bunch of little bars now this is called alkaline and it is something that you can use to change the battery icon you can download more in Cydia but there are a few that you can get right from the app which I'm going to show you now now here are Alkaline's themes. As you can see, there's Bolus, Habesha, Hush, and Spots. So you can choose these three, or you can download some from the Cydia's store if you want to get a different one. All right, guys, now this next one is actually an app, and it's called Battery Life. And basically, what it does is it tells you your complete capacity, so the capacity of your battery, and how much battery charge you have. Now over time, your capacity goes down, uh, and uh, it tells you your voltage, how many cycles you've charged your phone for, the temperature of your phone, the charging current, how much power is going into the phone, uh, the charging state, the max charger current, and it, it just tells you so much information about your phone, and it's really, really good to have. So you can monitor your phone's internals to make sure that the health of your phone is up to date. All right, guys, now this next one is called Blurry Badges. Now, if you see up here in this useless folder, there are two notifications, but the notifications symbol is not red like it usually is. It will take the color of the app. So as you can see, the Reminders app is completely white, so that means the border and the number are going to be white, and it's going to have a faded background. So that is going to be really nice. Whenever you have a notification for the App Store, that, that notification badge will be blue outlined and blue faded. Basically, whatever color the app is, that is what the notification badge is going to look like. Now inside of blurry badges settings you can set all of these different uh, settings. You can mess around with the borders, you can mess around with the alpha which is basically how transparent it is. So you can you can mess around with a ton of stuff in here. Alright guys, now this next one is called CC Color. Now if you notice when I swipe up here, I have a green notification center to match my background. My background is green, so my notification center is green. And this is used with CC Color. You can pick the color of your choice, and once you choose the color that you want to use, you can uh, respring your device. And once you respring it, that color will be applied. For some reason, I am not getting the color board showed up. That is probably just a bug with it right now. It will most likely work if I were to restart my phone, but restarting it would end the recording, so we're not going to do that. All right, guys, now this next one is called CC Loader. Now, basically, what CC Loader does is it enables you to change what you see in your swipe up menu from the bottom of the screen. So you can change out what is in there your airplane airdrop, your quick launches, your media controls, brightness, and settings. And that is something that's really cool to do. Now, another tweak that goes along with this tweak is called CC Meters. Now, CC Meters, if I swipe up from the bottom, you can see down here there is a 55, 54% thing, uh, megabytes, and then gigabytes. Now, that is a monitor. The, the CPU usage is on the far left. The middle one is RAM, and the far right one is how much storage I have left. So this is a very cool little app that and a tweak that lets you see how much RAM you have left, how much of your CPU is being used, and how much storage you have left, which is another really cool tweak. Now we're going to move on to one of the classic Cydia tweaks. This is Cylinder. Cylinder enables you to change the animations between sw swiping between screens. As you can see, I have a very smooth and clean animation. This is actually a combo of three different animations, which is the thing that I like most about Cylinder. You can combine any of the animations that are there. You can combine them together, and there are a ton of them. So here in Cylinder, you go to the effects, and you can see all of these effects. 
There are so many, and you can combine all of them. I have three of them combined. I have Cube Inside, and I also have Icon Collection and Page Fade, which results in this very clean looking transition between your app pages. So I definitely recommend Cylinder because it will be one of the most obvious Cydia tweaks that you have on your device. Alright guys, now this next app is trying to imitate the dock from OS X and it's called Harbor. Now down at the bottom, you can see in my dock on my iPhone I have five apps. You can put as many as you want, but that is not the main appeal of Harbor. Harbor, as you can see when I drag across my finger, it makes all of the apps pop up. And when I release, it opens that app. And when I press the home button, it goes back to that raised state and then drops back down. And it's a very clean, smooth animation, and it has a ton of settings. In here, you can change how long it lasts, the margin between the dock and the screen, the wave height, which is how high the app will rise when your finger is dragged across it, and the wave width, which will affect how many apps are rising as you drag your finger. Now, you also have some stuff in here like a bounce every two seconds. Now when you get a notification from an app down here in the, in the, in the harbor, when you get a notification that app will bounce up and down just like in uh, OS X or Mac OS. It will bounce up and down just like that. So it's a very cool and uh, unique tweak. And there are, another, there are other things that you can do. You can change how many times it bounces, how many minutes, how many times they bounce. And it's really, really cool. Alright guys, this next city tweak is called Icon Renamer. As you can see, I have no icon names on my screen. There are none. Now all you do is when you hold down on an app to delete it, the menu will pop up like this. And you can rename that app. So you can completely delete it or rename it anything you want. So I've personally deleted all the names on my apps because I think it gives it, it gives it a cleaner look. But you can edit the name of any app and call it whatever you like, which is really good for customization and calling certain apps different things. All right, guys, the next tweak is called Minimal HUD. Now, basically, if I turn up my turn up and down my volume, it's not showing up for some reason. But what it will do is it will get there. We go there. It is that was it for a second. For some reason, it's not doing it when I turn up and down my volume. But basically, in the side of the screen, on the far right, you can see that little rainbow pattern. Instead of having your volume bar pop up in front of your face, every time you turn up and down the volume, it will be on the side right there, which is very nice to have, and it's really clean. All right, guys, now this next app is called Repower. Now, basically, what it does is when you hold down your uh, power button, to turn off your device. Instead of only giving you that option, it will give you an option to turn it off, reboot it, and respring. Now I'm not going to do this because I'm pretty sure that would end the recording, but it gives you three options, three different bars to slide. One is called respring, one is called reboot, and one is called power off. Now this next tweak is called speed intensifier, and this is one of the most useful tweaks and one of the most noticeable tweaks you will have on your device. Now only use simple people have reported a bunch of problems with the Fusion Advanced and App version. So what you should do is basically just keep it on simple and you can choose how many times faster your animations are or just delete them all together with this button right there. So I keep mine at times five, and as you can see when I press the home button, it quickly zooms out and quickly zooms in. So it quickly zooms out and zooms in from apps. And you can change that up to a very high speed. And once you change it, you click that respring iOS 9 button and it will uh, it will uh, respring your device so that way the animations take effect. You can, and this is all this stuff down here. This is for with those advanced and uh, fusion options. So don't worry about those. Just keep it on simple and speed up your animations. Now this next tweak is called Spotlight Be Gone. As you can see when I swipe to the right, there is no spotlight. There's, it's just not there. There's no more spotlight. So it's completely gone, and that's used with Spotlight Be Gone. So that is a really useful uh, tweak to use if you think the spotlight is completely useless like I do. All right, and now we are going to go into one of the most original Cydia tweaks ever, and this one is Zeppelin, and that allows you to change the carrier name on your device. Now since I'm recording off of it, the Mac has a built-in thing that, are, that automatically hides it, but you can change it to any of these symbols, which is really nice. So instead of seeing Verizon or Sprint or AT&T or whatever, you will see as I selected an Apple, you can choose Appster Go, Android, Assassin's Creed, Autobots, Batman, all this different stuff. You can choose all these different things and it's really cool. 
Alright guys, now this next one is called Record and Torch, something that I think is very useful. And it is an app that allows you to use your camera flash while recording so you can have a flashlight while you're recording off your iPhone, which is great. I don't know why Apple hasn't added this. It's a really simple feature that's really helpful for when you're recording at night. Alright guys, so the video crashed when I tried to record off, so I'm doing it straight from the phone. As you can see, I'm recording right now, and I can turn on my flash while I'm recording. So this is very helpful for when you're recording in a dark situation. Again, something I do not know why Apple has not added it, but it's here now and it's really cool. Okay guys, so that was my list of my favorite Cydia tweaks that are out right now. If you guys agree with me or if you guys think that there are some that I've missed and I should have put in my list, please put them down in the comments below and I might make a part two of this series. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.